Are you looking for a service that you can quickly spin up to get a good overview of the Docker containers that you have up and running? You can interact with them, start, stop them, shell into them, and all of that good stuff just from your command line. Well, CTOP does just that. So let me show you how you can get it set up as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we are looking at CTOP like I just showed you, which is a command line based um, tool where you can track and monitor your Docker containers that you have up and running. Now it, it's really quick and easy to run. It's just a short lived container. You run it, it shows you the status of your containers, do what you need to do, close it, and the container gets removed. It's really straightforward and easy. So before we jump in, I just wanted to say a big thank you for everyone who's been supporting the channel lately. It's been awesome. The Discord channel is growing like crazy. We've got two members, so thank you to the two YouTube members that I have. Feel free to join that. You will get one-on-one -on -one support with me via the Discord channel. Um, and yeah, just make sure to subscribe. I think there's about 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So if you can, that'd be great. Let's get into the video. Right. CTOP. I think this is going to become a tool that I use just quickly just so I can quickly see the status of my containers and just quickly interact with them or if I just want to see what's up, what's not, uh, what's down, just straight from the command line. So as you can see here, what we've got is this is my command line that you're looking at now and you can see all the containers that I have up and running. So we can see I have my book stack, we have CTOP itself, and we can see how much usage the containers are using. Now, the containers aren't really doing much. You might see a bit of CPU here and there, but they're not really being interacted with. But for example, and just in another window, if I open up Bookstack or Grafana and try to interact with it, you'll see that the CPU actually gets utilized. So let me just quickly show you that. Right, so I'm about to hit Grafana now. So you should see if I just come down to it, it should actually start to spike up. So I'm going to hit enter on my other screen here and it's going to load into my Grafana uh, Docker container. So I hit enter there and there you can see uh, it just, you know, it spiked up. And as I click around Grafana, things will change. And just so you can see, this is my Grafana dashboard. So if I like spam some refreshes, come over to CTOP, you'll see that, you know, it's been utilized. So that's really cool. It's really just nice and easy way to see what's going on. And there's some hotkeys, so if I press left, I've gone straight into the logs of the uh, container. And then pressing the right hand uh, will just come, kind of come back. You can also hit enter and it brings up a little menu here. So you can see that we can get the log view. So that's what I was just looking at before. Hit enter again. Um, you can see we can stop it, pause it, restart it all from here. And we can also shout into it. So if I hit enter there. This might, may or may not work. Uh, so obviously that did not work, but let's see if we can actually get into something else. What about Bookstack? Will that let us shell in? There we go. So we have a shell into Bookstack. For whatever reason, Grafana, we couldn't shell into it, but um, we have shelled into the Bookstack itself, which is great. I'm um, assuming we could do the same for Jellyfin. Let's give that a shot. There we go. So just a real quick, easy way for us to, you know, quickly manage our containers where we need to. So I think you kind of pretty much get the idea, right? So let me show you how you can actually get this running as well. So this is the CTOP website. You can see it here and a good demonstration of what it does. So if you click get CTOP, it's going to take you to the GitHub page. And if we scroll down, it pretty much shows you how you can run this. So we're just looking for the Docker. So see here, if we just copy this command, that's all you have to do is copy it, go to your terminal, paste it in and hit enter. And it's going to pull that image down, run the container, and there you go. You you can do what you need to do, you know, interact with the containers and do what you need. And as soon as you close out of it, that container's gone. And then it's just rinse and repeat. You can save that command for whatever you need, paste it, run it, away you go. Now you can interact with it and do whatever you need to do. So that's CTOP. <laughs> A very quick and easy video, this one. Um, and hopefully you can get some benefit as well if you're just looking for a simple lightweight command line uh, tool to just to be able to quickly check out uh, what's going on with your containers you can use CTOP. Um, thank you so much for watching again thank you so much for all the support lately it's been awesome I really appreciate it uh, feel free to jump into the discord uh, and there's a fair few of us in there now so yeah come hang out come talk we just recently gave away a Raspberry Pi uh, as well so uh, we're running all sorts of stuff in there and yeah if you need any help or got any questions jump on over and more than happy to help thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye